This is Bumper to Bumper TV. So what is the newest, coolest, and most interesting thing from the Detroit Auto Show? It may be that the auto industry is continuing in its recovery and that somehow, someone got the message that performance and better fuel economy can coexist. Well, sort of. One of the head turners to be unveiled is the rebirth of a supercar, the Acura NSX, which will be built in Ohio. Acura is also updating the small crossover RDX with a 3.5 liter V6 engine and a refresh of the exterior appearance. The brand used Detroit to tease the arrival of a smaller sports sedan, the ILX. Stay tuned for that. General Motors continues to sing the gospel of smaller upscale vehicles. Buick joins the ranks of small crossovers with the Encore, a shrunken version of the Enclave. And the Cadillac division took the wraps off the ATS, which to us is a copycat of the CTS on Weight Watchers. Mercedes is wading into the hybrid pool with the new E-Class sedans, which will offer electric assisted vehicles in both gasoline and diesel powered platforms, touting 27 miles to the gallon. At the other end of the spectrum, the House of Daimler also unveiled the latest in a personal sport coupe with a redesigned SLS. The Smart Division even rolled out a concept pickup truck, Smart Style of course, that is, small enough to be workable in city driving conditions. Volkswagen is taking the Jetta to the next level with a hybrid platform of its own that will work in both gasoline and TDI diesel versions. And just to whet appetites, the company showed off an electric concept of the latest version of the Beetle. The Audi part of the family is making a bid for our larger segment of the North American market with a Q3 Veil Edition crossover, aimed squarely at skiers with lots of disposable income. Another division of the brand, Bentley, premiered a new Continental V8 model for the Uber Ridge. The Dodge division of Chrysler is going with a throwback nameplate, the Dart, a highly customizable sedan using engine technology from parent company Fiat. No hybrids here. And in a sign of the times, the Maserati division of Fiat announced it will build a Kubang luxury SUV at a Chrysler plant in Michigan, giving a whole new meaning to the phrase imported from Detroit. But Ford is not about to let anyone upstage them on its home turf, so this was the perfect time to roll out a new version of the global platform Fusion, which will also come with a plug-in electric version. The rejuvenated Lincoln brand revealed a concept of the MKZ sedan that features a full glass roof. Don't be surprised to see this on the street in the future. But if you want next snapping performance from a Ford, then the new limited edition Shelby GT500 Super Snake will be just what the doctor ordered with a 750 horsepower engine. If you just want the Shelby nameplate without the raw power, then there's a V6 version available. Volvo thinks there's a sweet spot between performance and efficiency. To make the point, the company showed off a plug-in hybrid version of the XC60 that boasts a combined power rating of 350 horsepower. At the same time, the SUV would deliver up to 100 miles to the gallon when both electric and gas-powered systems work in tandem. This is Greg Morrison. Thank you, John. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.